Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to talk about why triathlon is so brilliant for women. What really made me want to make this video is that when I've been competing recently and looking at races and looking at the start lists and qualifying for the age group world championship in super sprint is that there are so few women involved in these races. If it's something that you've ever considered doing, I mean, I don't know why you're watching this video if you haven't, but if it's something that you've considered doing, please, please, please go for it. You belong in this sport. I promise, I promise you do. Just try it. Anyway, here are the reasons that I think women belong in triathlon. Number one, there is very much a distance for everyone. So you've got the short, fast triathlons. You've got super sprint and sprint. Then you've got middle distance, which is also called standard and Olympic. Um, that's what they race in the Olympics. And then you've got the two long distance courses, which is half Ironman distance or 70.3 and full distance, which is Ironman distance. So whether you've got a couple of hours a week to train, uh, 10 hours a week to train, 20 hours a week to train, there is a distance for you and any ability and any starting point. That's why it's one of the most accessible kind of events that I've ever been part of because there is absolutely a distance and it makes it so brilliant. And you'll also get uh, events where there'll be multiple distances in the same event on the same day. So, you know, you can arrive and then the sprint distance will go off and then the standard distance will go off. Maybe even 70.3 will go off as well at the same event. So it's a real like festival of sort of different distances at each event, which makes it absolutely perfect for anybody, including you, including beginners. Number two, triathlon is obviously three sports. That means you don't really have to be great at all of them. You don't need to be great at just one sport like you do if you were, I don't know, taking up tennis or something. Chances are, You've already done one or two, maybe even three of all triathlon sports. So you already have some kind of strength in one and definitely some kind of familiarity. This is one of the reasons why triathlon is so much fun because each individual competitor has different strengths across those different sports. So for instance, my strengths are cycling and running. And while I swam for my entire life, I'm not very fast and I'm not very good. This gives competitors who are much better at swimming than I am the edge over me in the swim and then I have to work to catch up with them on the bike if I'm a better cyclist than they are. Even if you're competing against someone who's done loads of triathlon before, you might still be better at them in one sport than another. And it's this kind of strategy and the balancing of the different sports that makes it so enjoyable to race for anybody. It also helps because it gives you access to different sports. So chances are you can run from wherever you live. You can probably cycle there too, depending on the weather. But for instance, it's a bit harder for me to get to a swimming pool. It also means that you can love one sport over another. Maybe you don't like one at all, or you're completely new to one of them. But because you've got that beginning and one of the sports or two of the sports, you can make up for that lack in the third. Number three. Three. <laughs> Doesn't matter what age you are in a triathlon, they have age groups for everything from children to 80, 90 year olds. I was in a sprint triathlon once and there was an 86 year old in it. And I mean, <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, age groups typically are broken down into four to like nine years, depending on how big the event is. So I currently race in the 35 to 39 category, which means there's a much smaller group of competitors but also like everyone belongs. Number four, you don't need as much stuff as you think you do. Technically, all you really need to do a triathlon is a bike that is safe and it's brakes work. You need a helmet and you need a pair of running shoes. That's pretty much it. Oh wait, you don't want to swim naked. So you need a swimming costume too. Definitely don't swim naked. Triathlon is really a sport for people who love to spend money. <laughs> the entry fees can be really high and you can spend as much on a bike as you can on a car. There is another side to that, which is you don't have to spend that kind of money. If you just want to go and have fun and do a triathlon, <laughs> really all you need to pay for is the entry fee and to own or borrow a bike. First triathlon I did was a go try, which is kind of like park run for triathlon. It's based in the UK, but maybe they have them elsewhere in the world. That one was a pool swim. So literally all I did was wear a swimming costume, do my swim, run out of the pool, 
get to transition, put on a pair of loose shorts and I think actually this top, put on my running shoes, get on the on my helmet, get on the bike, do the bike route, take off my helmet and then run the run course. There's a ton of fancy stuff you can buy for triathlon. You don't need that much of it whatsoever, I promise you. This is especially true if you just want to do like one triathlon as an event or like one a year or something. You can also hire and borrow loads of equipment. So don't be put off by the high price items that you see in triathlon magazines. You don't need that kind of stuff. Number five, everyone is very friendly and you will absolutely belong there. So when I first sort of got into it, I kind of thought that everyone would know what they were doing. Um, they'd be really serious and I would basically look like an idiot. That is not the case for triathlon at all. Maybe it is for some other sports, I don't know. But it is really not the case for triathlon. Everyone is so friendly. So many people are there for the first time or second time. Um, I promise you, you just ask around, like ask the person who's next to you in transition. They will say the same thing, which is like, oh, I wonder how it's gonna go. This is my first or second triathlon or whatever. Everyone. <laughs> It's very much like that there's a real community sense of everyone's in it together and I love it so much and I when I did um, the Blenheim Palace one last year I was in the women's wave and so I was just racking my bike with all these women everyone was helping each other out lending each other sunscreen all this kind of stuff loads of people it was their first one or they'd done like five or six but they were still you know nervous chatty, really friendly, loads of camaraderie, doesn't matter what age you are, how many triathlons you've done in the past, you can ask questions, you can turn up not really knowing what the hell is going on, people will help you and they will ask you for your help and everyone is so so friendly. So if you're avoiding it um, because you don't feel like you belong in triathlon, and that, you know, there'll be this big white spotlight on you that says you don't belong here, you don't know what you're doing. I can 100% promise you that isn't gonna happen. Like it's basically a sport to be a beginner in. <laughs> People just, I don't know what it is about it, but beginners truly belong there. Nobody assumes that anybody else knows what they're doing. Everyone is so friendly and just really supportive. So please, please, if you're considering it, give it a go. And those are the reasons why triathlon is great for women. Thanks for watching this week's video and I hope to see you in the next one and out on the race course.